Hi everyone, it's Mrs Cooney here. I hope you're all well and you're staying safe and we miss you lots. So today I'm going to bring you an art activity all inspired by the artist Romero Brito. So first we're going to find out a little more information about him and why he's a famous artist. Okay, so who is he? So Romero Brito is a Brazilian artist. He's also a sculptor. So what that means is um, he is a person who creates 3D sculptures. Uh, this could be by carving or molding a material such as metal or wood. He's also a pop artist. Now this doesn't mean he's a good singer. We'll come back to pop art in a moment. Okay, he's also a painter, a serigrapher, and a sculptor. So a painter is a person who applies paint either using a brush or another tool and a serigrapher is a person who does screen printing. This is where ink is pressed through a stencil. So how did Romero Brito become an artist? So Romero Brito actually loved art from a really early age. He taught himself, which is very impressive, and he would practice any chance he got. He'd be really creative and use his imagination and paint on unusual surfaces such as newspaper and cardboard. A famous quote from Romero Brito is that art is too important not to share. OK, so what's special about his work? So he uses features of both pop art and cubism. And looking at this example here, you can see that he uses pattern, bright, bold colours and black border lines. And what's really special and clever about his artwork is that even though it's split into different sections and each section is a different colour and has a different pattern in it, you can still clearly see what the original picture was. So going back to pop art then. So pop art first came to Britain in the mid 1950s. It's classed as a modern art. It's based around popular culture, including advertising and comic books, and it uses bright colours and bold patterns, just like the example you can see. So cubism first became popular in the early 1950s. It's also classed as modern art. It was brought about by an artist that I'm sure you've all heard of before because they're very, very famous. That artist is Pablo Picasso. So cubism is where pictures are separated into geometric shapes. So Romero Brito takes both elements from cubism and pop art to incorporate into his work. OK, here are some examples. So Romero Brito has created work for many popular brands and also a lot of his work is displayed in popular places. So here are two examples that you can see and you should hopefully be able to see on all of these bright colours, those bold black outlines, different patterns and different colours. Yet you can always see what that original picture is. OK, so here are some of his pieces of work or work inspired um, by Br Romero Brito or created in, this, in his style. So do you recognise any of the famous faces? Have you managed to work out who it is yet? Yeah, they're all members of the royal family and we have some famous Disney characters as well. And again, you can see how he's used different colours and patterns and shapes to include in his work, all with nice, bold, bright colours. So another set of examples are his um, word, word art examples. So here you can see he just uses one word and again fills those letters in with those bright colours, different patterns and those bold outlines. So. These words at the top here, happy, inspire, smile, dream and laugh are all actually 3D art. And this is a painting version or a 2D version. Finally, some more examples of his work or work inspired by him. Here we have um, either scenery with bold shapes or we have some animals in there. And again, notice how he split both the picture and the background up into different sections using different patterns and colours, yet you can still clearly see what the picture is of. So your task or your challenge 
is to create a piece of artwork inspired by Romero Brito using his style. Okay, so I've given you lots of examples which you can use to inspire you. Remember, keep that checklist of criteria in your mind as you create it. Bold, bright colours, pattern, and those uh, black, bold black outlines as well. Okay, so you can create this using paint, pencil cranes, felt tips, whatever you have available. You can even do what, a black and white version using just your pencil if you wish. Okay, happy creating guys, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.